es su casa. <risa> Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today we are about to go to Mexico. Don't mind my mask face. This is the face of me getting ready to go make tacos in Mexico. So come with me to go and I am going to go learn today from the professionals, or let me say the local man from Mexico, how to make tacos. Welcome to Cosmo, Mexico. So Cosmo is actually an island that is located in Mexico. It consists of 88,000 people. 88,000 people full of character that will always greet you with a warm smile. So welcoming, so warm, and you will always feel like you at home when you're in Cosmo. A few things to note about Cosmo, Mexico. It does not grow much. The land does not produce a lot. Therefore, they get their main food from the main land, which is Mexico City, which makes the cost of living in Cosmo a little bit higher. Still a bit affordable, but a little bit higher because it doesn't produce as much in terms of the land. Cosmo is also a diving island. If you are a diver, come along and visit Mexico. So we're going to move along and get into the chocolate company where we learn a little bit on how, on how chocolate is made. This chocolate is purely organic and made in Mexico. Come learn and see how we make chocolate. Chocolate makes you happy. Chocolate makes you smile. So... This was a great surprise. I didn't even know this was part of the tour. So when I got to find out, when I got here, I was so excited. Let's get to eat some chocolate and learn how to make chocolate. Does anybody have any idea what kind of culture, ancient culture, discovered the chocolate here in Mexico? modern if we're talking about ancient times okay but for today we're still using it yes a few people still using this these amigos we make hot chocolate in here water or hot meal whatever you would like to add then the chocolate and then look at that it's like the blender so the only thing you have to do is shake it Shake it, shake it, shake it, and after time, chocolate is gonna be foaming and ready for drink. Do you put sugar? But as you can tell, the cocoa plant looks damaged. Why is that? It's, it's not the environment and the soil. Well, limestone it doesn't provide too much soil, so of course it's gonna be damaged. The soil here is stronger. So it's difficult to to maintain this plant in uh, stronger. But anyways, it's still alive. We hope next year we're gonna see this a little bit more bigger, right? Yeah. No, damaged plant. Oh, what? Damaged plant. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Banana. My point is this. Long time ago. Our people, our ancestors, Mayas, Aztecs especially, they used to grab their food using corn husk and agave leaves. Agave, guava, guave, or what do you call it? Agave. That's what we used to use. That's it. Banana plant that was until after 1600, after the Spanish arrival. Spanish brought those plants and right after that we start to using it what for 
wrapper food, especially tamales. Yes, after 1600. This way, please. Oh. Amigo, a real Mayan cabine. What I mean with real, this is how it was made. Two doors from each other. Why is that? They used to believe in the spirits. So when that's what they thought. When a spirit come into your house, right away can get out. That's why the two doors from each other. Mayas, they used to believe in the cross. Not like us. Different cross. What for? Four cardinal points. And Mayas, they used to believe in an altar. They used to have an altar. They used to set up an altar in their houses. What for? Not like us, the representation of the three worlds. The upward, our world, and the underworld, Shibalba. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Stuff, like, uh, <laughs> Malo kin means good morning. You want you want to say a good good morning to Malo kin. Malo kin. Malo kin Maria. Maria, she will provide us a handmade tortilla with a pre-Hispanic meal. What is that pre-Hispanic meal? Is pumpkin seed powder, roasted tomato, cilantro, salt and pepper. Mix it all and Voila, we have this pre-Hispanic meal on top of a handmade tortilla. This is not that pre-Hispanic, but anyways, we're gonna try that right now. This habanero, habanero. Mm -hmm. I don't provide you the whole thing, just a few drops for you're gonna be able to see the texture of the two. <laughs> Yes, no, no. I long time ago I used to read about good things about food. Nobody guesses. Till today, nobody guesses. Cardamom. Cilantro. No. No, that's not cilantro. Not today. But it's not mint. It's peppermint. Peppermint. What? Yeah. Mm, it doesn't smell like peppermint. Here at the Yucatan Peninsula, we have one way, a special way to survive. A picultor. No agriculture. A picultor. You know what am I talking about? A picultor? No? No. Apiculture is bees. bees. I'm talking about bees. At the Yucatan Peninsula, most of the people work with the bees. A Mayan bee, not the regular one, a Mayan bee. What's the Mayan bee? The Mayan bee is very tiny, like a fly. And it's a stillness, it doesn't have a stone. Uh -huh. Why this bee is very special? A hive? Only one hive produce only one liter of honey per year. Wow. That's why it's very special. But also, it's very handy. What for? We use it to cure, sometimes to set up some, to heal part of your body. Uh -huh. And of course, if you eat it, it will have a lot of benefits. Actually, there is a hive. And there is a little bee in the middle, right over there. Oh yes, yeah. right in the center. He's looking at us. On the top one? In the middle one. In the middle one oh. with the tree, with the, yeah. with the leaf. You see? It's right here. Right there. It's, it's is it in the, the oh, it's that's inside, it? yes. Oh. Does he really saw the other bees like a cork? <laughs> now it's yeah. red inside. Oh, a picture he <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes they come in through. right away. They get in. Oh, now it's coming out again. There he is. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ah, 
Fresh. Well, amigos, we are arriving to one point. And we're gonna know a little bit more about chocolate, especially. Hello, welcome, welcome to the Mayan Cacao Company. Are you having a good time? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this chocolate. And for this activity, you can take pictures, as many pictures as you want. Hello, welcome to the Mayan Cacao Company. Are you having a good time? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this chocolate. And for this activity, you can take pictures, as many pictures as you Natural cocoa nibs and I place them on the metate. A metate is a tiny table, limestone. Mayan women used to have this for preparing food, flowers, spices, medicines, different kind of things. Every time you see a metate, remember the tradition in a beautiful way. Because a metate belongs to a woman, her mother, grandmother, great grandmother, the recipe is totally handmade and it's like this. I have to grind the cocoa nibs. And remember, that many years ago, Mayans didn't have any milk or sugar. I need one and two spoons. Okay? Then we have anato or a chiote. And the question is, what is that? And I guess you feel familiar with the name paprika. The idea of this condiment is only the red color. The red tinge. I can mix it. This a pure and dark vanilla. Is that correct to say vanilla? Uno y dos. And now I need only two seconds to show you how easy it is to make the chocolate. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got Prep Hispanic chocolate. Thank you very much. The tour is going so well. I am so amazed with everything that I'm learning. There's so much culture in Mexico, so much history, as um, we all know. Uh, it's very interesting. So we've just learned how to make chocolate, and we've also just learned um, we've just learned how to make chocolate. We are going to go and learn how to make tacos. Uh, right now, also the chocolates that are made here, you can also have a margarita. It's a whole thing. Welcome to Cosmo, Mexico. Love it here. Love, love, love. Hope you are enjoying the vlog, and let's continue to learn and see what Mexico has to offer. Mexico has a lot to offer, a lot to learn, so much rich history, and I'm happy, and I'm here for it. I'm happy to learn, just like how chocolates just made me happy this morning. <laughs> see you when we go make tacos. Amigos, this is the blue agave. This is the only plant allowed to produce tequila by law. Blue agave grows in perfect environment back in Jalisco State. Jalisco, Guadalajara, Puerto Vallarta, same place. Jalisco is a volcanic area. That's why this plant grows perfectly right over there. Mm -hmm. The soil is amazing. The way to reproduce of this plant, two ways, by stem that grows in the middle, probably with the time, looks like a tree, like a little tree. The seeds spread out, and that's one of the ways, but we don't use it that most. The one that we use it the most is by roots. We're expecting that plant babies from the roots. 
con le tijuelos. Right here we have two babies. One that is almost dying. <laughs> and the second one, right over here. I don't know if you can tell. This baby is growing up. I don't know what happened. Probably somebody uh, pulled it out a little bit. It was bigger. Anyways, that's the way, that's the one that we use it the most. Why is that? Those babies, they're gonna be exactly like their mom. Exactly. So we know what kind of agaves, what kind of uh, quality those agave has. So, one year old, we pull it out of the ground, sure, at least six years. At least six years. Casa es su casa. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, good. One. One. Okay, perfecto.
using their palms. See? This is the Yucatan style, using their palms. If one day you want to make tortillas back home, well, you can use your fingers like, like this. See? Shaping it with your fingers. You don't need to use their palms. But their palms is because this is the, 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 the tradition of this area. There you go, thank you. Or you can use your fingers like this. One hand, you shape the masa. And the, the, the other one, it press it. Press it gentle. We don't want thicker because it's gonna take longer to cook. We don't want thin because it's gonna break, right? See? Very easy to get out. And then we're gonna be able to cook this tortilla for a couple of minutes. Okay, no more than two minutes and it's gonna be ready. Now let me tell you something. If you want to make tortillas back home, this is the special ingredient. Oil pork. I don't know how you call it back home. Oil pork. Get oil pork. Mix it with your masa. And also before, before you cook it, add it. Look at that. Yeah. You know how to use that one, right? Everybody? So, Kim, please make one. Make one for us. Remember, use a plastic bag. What for? Because like this, it doesn't go to stick there. And remember, see, gentle. Not too hard. Oh. There we go. Not too hard because you, can, you might break it. But with that, you can make Dozens of tortillas very easy. If you don't want to make it with your hands. But anyway, yes. Somebody wants to make one? Yes? Yes. <laughs>
deeper than the And I'm just a silly girl who just loves trying out new things. I live for new experiences. I live for just loving life and full of life. I don't like boxing myself and putting myself in a certain place. I'm always searching and looking for something new that I can try. Mind you, I'm not even a drinker. 
I don't drink alcohol but here I am trying tequila trying big boy stuff because tequila wow but it was a whole full experience it was a wholesome experience glad I did it and I'm glad you got to get here and finish off this vlog thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in a different country or a city or a village or an island doing something different thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share with the rest of your friends and family thank you for liking and watching see you in the next vlog